Hi, I'm Charlie Kasov. I'm a math teacher. And today we're going to answer the question, why does a square and a rhombus have rotational symmetry? And the answer is that every part of a square is symmetrical to itself. So in a sense, a square, which is not perfectly drawn here, if you draw it diagonally, the one side, one diagonal half, will be symmetrical to the other. If you draw it vertically, one side will be symmetrical to the other. If you draw it horizontally, one side will be symmetrical to the other. And a rhombus is the same idea. It's uh, you draw it horizontal, it's going to be symmetrical. You draw it vertical, symmetrical. You draw it diagonally, symmetrical. So as you rotate it, it stays symmetrical to itself. Unlike the capital letter A, which when you draw vertically, it is symmetrical, left and right. But when you draw it horizontally, the top and the bottom are not symmetrical. Same goes with the letter N and the letter M. So if you draw it horizontally, it's not the same. So I'm Charlie Kasov, and you just learned why a square and a rhombus have rotational symmetry. Because any way you draw it in half, it will be symmetrical to itself. Thanks a lot.